All right, this all started three weeks ago when I agreed to do an interview with CBS Sunday Morning and their special contributor, Ted Koppel. Now, the interview lasted well over 45 minutes, and we discussed in great detail why there's such a great divide in America in politics and in media. Now, in my honest opinion, the exchange was actually a very good substantive give and take and worthwhile for any audience to see. However, out of the 45 minute sit down, well, here is all that CBS Sunday Morning decided to air. Take a look. Honestly, I think liberalism has to be defeated. Socialism must be defeated in a political sense. This is not a, we, we don't want a revolution in well, this country. What, what oh. more do you want? You got the White House, you got the House, we you got the now. Senate. Okay. And then we have angry snowflakes, and then we've got a democratic estab establishment. I say the press in this country is out to destroy this president. We have to give some credit to the American people that they're somewhat intelligent and that they know the difference between an opinion show and a news show. Yeah. You're, not, you're cynical. Look at that. Yeah. I am yeah. cynical because, uh, you know. You think we're bad for America? You think yeah. I'm bad for America? Yeah. You do. In the in the long haul, I think you really? and all these opinion That's shows. That's sad, Ted. No, you know why? That's sad. Because you're very good at what you do, and because you have you have attracted a significantly you more influential. The well, let me finish the sentence. Let me finish the sentence I'm before listening. you do that. With all due respect. You yes. Take you have point. you have attracted people who are determined that ideology is more important than facts. Wow, it's kind of calling me a liar. And then he's saying, well, you and all these opinion shows, he's giving his opinion. Only 70 seconds, that's it, ended up airing. Now, I guess people like Ted Koppel feel you, the American people, can't distinguish between opinion and news. That's kind of like Obama. Remember he said people clinging to their God, guns, and religion, or Hillary Clinton who said ignorant, irredeemable, deplorables. Now, beyond this interview being a total waste of my time, it is a flagrant example of what I call edited fake news. Now, remember CBS News is the former home of Dan Rather. Remember, he was forced to resign after reporting an inflammatory fake news story about President George W. Bush. Rather used fake documents to bolster his story. Now, CBS News is also the former home of Cheryl Atkinson. Remember, she there was marginalized at CBS and stonewalled and they wouldn't show a lot of our investigative journalism into President Obama as in his administration. Is that agenda driven? And now they produce a package taking shots at me, all while prominently displaying their dishonesty, their bias, and total hypocrisy here for every viewer to see. Now, Ted's interview with me, it wasn't about substance. It wasn't about getting my real opinion. Now, the story was written long before he walked into this studio here at Fox. I was just used as a prop to advance his narrative, which is why only one minute and 10 seconds out of the 45 to 50 minutes was actually used. In other words, it was one minute, and that's the one minute that fit into their narrative. That is edited fake news. By the way, other networks, they play the same game and they have for many years, and now it's time to expose this for what it really is, and I have the ability to fight back. Cheap shot attacks in the name of, quote, journalism, all to advance their biased agenda. Now, what Ted was really asking is this. Our opinion shows bad for America. He thinks they are. Meanwhile, Ted was giving his opinion. He considers himself an impartial journalist, yet in what CBS News was airing, he's doing exactly what he said is bad for America. Now, right here on this show, on Hannity, I express my opinion because I am a talk show host, an advocacy journalist, if you will. Ted Koppel, he thinks he's down the middle, fair and balanced, a real journalist. Ted, you show in this clip you are not a journalist. You're very hypocritical here. Now, have you ever said, for example, you work for CBS, Dan Rather worked for CBS? Ted, did you ever say that George W. Bush, the attack by Dan Rather, was bad for America? Did you ever say CBS, when they spiked Cheryl Atkinson's story, that that's bad for America? Did you ever wonder if the stories were spiked because the head of CBS News and that division, David Rhodes, happens to be the brother of Ben Rhodes, the high-ranking official for then-President Obama? Is that a conflict of interest? Now, I'm willing to look at my body of work and compare it with CBS News any day of the week. Did CBS News even one time ever ask President Obama about his relationship with an unrepentant terrorist where he started his political career. Well, I did CBS's job. I did it for you, Ted.
Did you ever delve deep into what black liberation theology is and how it motivated President Obama, then candidate Obama for over 20 years, the Church of Reverend Wright, the Church of GD America, the Church of America's Chickens Have Come Home to Roost? Now, eight, eight, after eight years of Obama, did CBS ever show the numbers on the screen there about what a failure the Obama presidency was? Now, you know what? I put those up on the screen on a regular basis. And by the way, Ted, I did mention this to you in the interview. All of these facts were given to you, but you edited it all out. Did CBS ever put up all the laws that Hillary Clinton likely violated with her email server scandal so she could avoid congressional oversight? Did CBS ever expose all the Benghazi lies of Hillary Clinton? We did on this program. Did CBS ever cover in great detail how members of the media colluded with the Clinton campaign in this election cycle? We did here. How much time did CBS devote to this phony Russian conspiracy story, even though after eight months there isn't a shred of evidence? Now, that's the difference, Ted, between me and you. I'm honest with my audience. I don't pretend that I'm fair and balanced and objective. You do. And if you really cared about truth in journalism, how can you work for a network that only tells one side of the story? You know, how can I be bad for America when I'm offering the American people news and information nightly that your own network will not touch because they have an agenda? Now, Ted, I happen to be very proud of the work I do both on radio and TV. I'm proud of the teams that we have built here that work really hard every day to bring this audience news and information that, well, frankly, the rest of the media ignores. So I hope you enjoyed your press coverage this weekend and covering how bad I am for America while editing out 99% of what I said. But what you really did is prove my point, that I'm right. You exposed yourself as agenda-driven, opinionated, hypocritical, and you proved my point, I've been saying since 2007 and 8. Journalism is dead in America, and we have an information crisis in this country. Now, Ted, if you and CBS and CBS News have the courage, release the entire unedited footage of the interview. Let America decide. Let America see the 99% that you didn't want to air.